Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers, the one place for all African girls under 35. And yes, that includes you who thinks that you're not African, even though you are. <laughs> I'm your host Sandra Fondufe, the H is silent, and today I'm going to tell you what grinds my gears. African Girl Answers. Super! For those of you who don't really know what that means, it's a very popular line from a TV show, which is kind of a cartoon, called Family Guy, where Peter Griffin says what grinds his gears, and it pretty much means what irritates you. And without much ado, I will go ahead and tell you what really grinds my gears. Number one, women who wear extremely high heels when they don't know how to walk on heels. That's right. Why do you wear high heels? Look, heels are supposed to be sexy, right? Now, when you start walking in that funny way, <laughs> like hooves, as if you're a horse, walking like this, it defeats the purpose. Because you look funny. I mean, now it's actually something to laugh about as opposed to, you know, a nice pair of shoes that you were supposed to wear. Why don't you wear flats? Or wear shoes that have wedges at the bottom. It's, you still have the extra height, but then it's comfortable and then you can walk in them. And before you wear a new shoe and go out, try it at home first. Walk around in your house, do something with it. Feel comfortable. Don't just wake up and, you know, walk around and scare everybody else with your feet that look like a horse. Moving on. Number two, makeup faces. Makeup faces grind my gears because when you see a girl looking all fabulous like this, you have no clue the unfabulous faces that she was making to arrive at that fabulosity. Let me show you what makeup faces look like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's very sad. The next one is my favorite on the whole list, groupies. Does anybody know what groupies are? Groupies are people who think that they actually hate celebrities when they do love them so much, they follow them everywhere. And if you have any famous friends like I do, because actually my job in real life is an actor, on a good day, I get to meet lots of famous people. And you know, groupies are always there. They kind of linger around in groups of four or five. They look at the guy and look, they look down and here's the funny thing, right? It kind of reminds me of this situation. Who the David don't think he is? I bet that is egghead. I tell you, same whiskey. Though. I bet that bet look queer. Ah, so yeah, he looks like a lizard. Pure. Then, what are you doing there? Bury your shoe and go back to your house. Hey. The next one on my list of what grinds my gears is Africans who think that school is the only way to make it in life. I'm not saying that school is not a big way to make it in life. It's actually a great way, but it's not the only way. There's other things that you can do as well. I mean, I'll be at a book signing with my book at the front and the poster in the back, and Africans be like, very nice. So when are you finishing school? By luck. This is kind of my job. Or they come to a, you know, the book is even different. Maybe it's more educational. You come to a movie premiere where there's a poster with me on it. And there's a poster of the movie. You watch the movie, the movie's over. And then you ask me, so when are you finishing school? No, that is my job that I went to school for. And that's why you're here paying $20 to watch the movie. Stop being so stupid. Don't ask me that stupid question because it's very irritating. I'm not saying I don't look young enough to still be in school. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is don't ask it all the time. It can't be like everyone asking that. That's a stupid question. School is not the only way to make it. Africans, stick that in your head. Moving on. The next thing that really grinds my gears is like public toilets. I don't get it. There's a toilet. The toilet is actually there and then you poop outside. You pee outside. There's a toilet. Or you use a bathroom and you don't flush it. And when I come and try to flush it, I'm, I'm like, oh, maybe it doesn't work. It actually flushes, so it actually works. And you just don't want to flush the public toilet for what? Like, why? If that's what you do in your house, don't bring it here because we all kind of have to use that bathroom. So if you feel like you want to take a shit and you don't want to go inside, just kind of hold it in and take it home. You should on the floor if you want. Moving on. The next one is people who go to clubs and do not dance. We are at a club. It is called a nightclub. What we do there is dance. So why are you not dancing again? Feeling they're all cool like. <laughs> <laughs> and then some people actually like kill it in their seats. 
<laughs> they will stand. Abby, and I go to the club. I dance. I cook it, and I eh, I bella. And I every move you can imagine, I shock it. Shock it. Hot water. <laughs> I do everything in the club when I go. That's what the point is for. The next one is people who post fake designer stuff on Instagram. Why are you posting a Gucci purse? I mean, if you don't have a Gucci purse, then don't post it. Why are you posting a black booty? If you don't have a Blackberry phone, do not post it. I think the funny thing for me about these Blackberry phones, no, the Blackberry phones, is the kind of Kunta Kinte sounds that they make, though. Like, shring! It's probably like, Jesus Christ, you kind of feel like Kunta Kinte came back from the dead or like someone's about to slice you into half. Like, you, you jump up and make sure your body's still like one piece. What are those sounds? Just buy another phone. Like, it's, it's really like weird. And it really grinds my gears, so I had to talk about it. Something that really grinds my gears is people who, who show up at the end of an event to say, I knew it. They don't offer you advice before you throw the event. They don't give you tips. They don't tell you, you know what, call you to the side and say, you know what, you can do this. When the event is done, they come and tell you, if I had known, I should have brought this. If I had known, I should have done this. If you had told me, I should have offered you this. If you did this, I would have done that. We don't care what she would have done because it is not your occasion. If you want to do all these things that you're talking about, how about this? Throw your own events. Thank you very much. Ah, something else that grinds my gears. People with bad breath who will not shut up. Have you ever gone out and people are talking to you and the breath is like traveling? <sighs> I just want to put a gum in your mouth. Shut up. He grants my gears. Hello. My name is uh, Hamlet, and uh, you know, you're a very beautiful girl. <laughs> Ladies, that's what you should start doing. Guys, that's what you should start doing. You go somewhere, someone has bad breath, you just end of conversation. Handled. As Olivia Pope says, it's handled. Something else that really grinds my gears is food without spice. American people, can you kind of like add some flavor in your food? Everything is just like bland. No spice. You eat chicken, you open it, there's nothing in the middle. That really grinds my gears. And I have a problem with that. Another thing that really grinds my gears are Christians who act like they're too good to be true. Yo, I'm not there behind closed doors see what you, seeing what you do with your life. And how about this? I don't care. Now, leave everybody else alone. God is not talking to you every day, telling you what everyone is doing to so go preach to them, okay? Handle your own business. If you want to pray for your salvation, pray for your salvation, but leave everybody else alone. Don't come and be following people, oh, your top is too low. Oh, I saw you talk to that boy. Who is that boy? Eh, 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 you've done this, you've done that. Eh, eh, and so, I've done it. And so, it's not your business. That's all for today, guys. It was a really short episode, and I was just pretty much telling you what grinds my gears. Now, the tables are turned over, and I want to hear what grinds your gears. Somebody is going to win a $20 Amazon card courtesy of me. And the only way to do that is to leave comments at the bottom of the video telling me what grinds your gears. You know where to find me, girl. I am on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The name is at Sandra Fondufe. I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. Have a great weekend. And until next Wednesday, stay authentic. Suba. Hello. Mm -hmm.